If you're watching this video on YouTube, you might have seen an ad on the way in. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am eligible for YouTube's partner program where I can earn money through ads. And I'm gonna turn it on. So in this video, I wanna talk to you about that. First off, before we dive in, I think we should pause to celebrate because there are some requirements to get into this program. They're not exactly like high, but a lot of people don't hit them. The two biggest ones are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. And honestly, for the last several months, I've been waiting on that 4,000 hour number. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like seriously, this would not have been possible without all of you. You're awesome, I appreciate you. There's also some other requirements, but those are all on my end, like, you know, not having any copyright dings and stuff like that. Now, not everybody might be happy about the fact that I've turned on ads, and I totally understand. I despise ads, personally. I'm not a fan of them. So I wanted to take a second to explain to you guys why I'm doing this and what you can do about it if you don't like the ads. So first off, why did I enable monetization? Well, quite frankly, I would like to make the new oil my full-time job if possible. And in order to do that, I have to earn income from the new oil. So I strive to monetize the new oil ethically in every possible avenue. Now, the key word there is ethically. I spend a lot of time thinking about ways I can make money that align with the values of this website and the message I preach. For example, I do accept sponsors, but they have to be sponsors that make sense. I'm not going to recommend a Casper mattress to you guys, not because there's anything wrong with them as far as I know, but just because that's not really what this site is about. I want to recommend products and services to you guys that are useful. One major way I do that is with affiliate links. And again, in keeping with the whole ethics thing, I make sure that these affiliate links are products I recommend. The links follow the recommendations, not the other way around. I don't add something to the site just because they have an affiliate link. I add something to the site, and then if they happen to have an affiliate link, I'll go ahead and add it. Enabling monetization, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of a gray area. I mean, Google is an ad company, and they're one of the worst ad companies. They're incredibly invasive, and they track you. But here's the thing. You guys have been watching these videos on YouTube all this time. I don't think that me refusing that money is going to discourage YouTube from collecting that data. I understand the argument of how this could be viewed as unethical. And if you feel that way, by all means, let me know in the comments respectfully, please. And let me know why I should turn them off. But as far as I can tell, I don't think it's really going to make a difference on your guys's end. Like I said, turning them off isn't going to make YouTube stop tracking you. It's just going to mean less money on my end. As far as I know, nobody out there is under the impression that an ad that rolls before the video is somehow an endorsement from me. So yeah, all that to say, I don't think this really conflicts with my ethical standpoint on advertising. It's pretty obvious that these are just generic ads that I don't necessarily endorse them. And again, turning them off is not going to make you any more private using the platform. It's a lot like having an affiliate link. You don't have to use it, but if it's there, it makes me a little bit of extra money. So what do I recommend? I mean, am I asking you guys to just sit here and watch the ads? Actually, no. I'm turning the ads on just in case, but I would actually really like to see you guys not have to suffer through them. And I have a few suggestions. The first and most obvious is to use uBlock Origin. This is a plugin that I recommend on my website. And uBlock Origin is an ad blocker, but it's also a tracker blocker, and it's very powerful. It's open source, it's very regularly maintained. Seriously, every couple of days I see an update from them in my RSS feed. If you guys aren't already using uBlock Origin, you really should be. I haven't seen a YouTube ad in years, thanks to uBlock Origin, and it's not just YouTube. It'll block ads on news sites, it'll block ads on entertainment sites, it'll block trackers, and it'll just generally protect you as you go around the internet. So the first and foremost thing I can recommend is that. uBlock Origin will go a long way, not just on YouTube, but around the net, but there are other ways to escape YouTube's tracking specifically. Thankfully, in my case, my content is available on other websites like Odyssey and PeerTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you should definitely check out one of those other platforms because they don't track you near as badly as Google does. Odyssey isn't quite perfect, they do have some tracking. PeerTube doesn't have any at all. This is actually our instance at The New Oil. We run this, we fund it, we're responsible for it. Eventually, I would like to see a different moderation team right there, but right now it's all in-house. Having said that, PeerTube is a little bit clunky and you know the UI is not the prettiest in the world. And again, it may not have all of your favorite creators, but it does have some of them. So PeerTube may not be right for everyone. Odyssey probably has more creators than you think it does. So that one's worth checking out. Of course, sometimes there is content that is only on YouTube. There are creators that are not on Odyssey or not on PeerTube. And in this case, I recommend using a front end like Invidious or Newpipe. 
These are really good front ends and apps that will let you access YouTube's content without loading YouTube itself. They act as a proxy. So that way YouTube can't track you. They don't get your IP address. They never get to do any sort of fingerprinting or inject any sort of tracking scripts or anything like that. I strongly encourage you to use any and all of these options. There's nothing wrong with all of them. Like I said, uBlock you should have regardless. You should use Odyssey or PeerTube when you can. And then when you can't, you should check out NVIDIA's or NewPipe. I'm totally okay with this. Again, I wanna stress, I hate ads. No hard feelings if you don't want the ads. Also again, YouTube tracks you. And so if you're trying to get away from that and you wanna start using these platforms, that's super awesome. I fully support this. Feel free to do this. But I do wanna ask one thing if you're gonna go that route. Please support the new oil if you can. And actually all the creators that you're watching. Like I said, I want to do this as a full-time job. It would be really nice. And that's kind of the goal I'm working towards. But there are other creators out there that already do this as a full-time job. So if you're gonna use these kinds of tools to protect your privacy, which I'm totally in favor of, that technically means you're kind of robbing them a little bit. You're not contributing to the ad views. You're not contributing to the clicks and the views and things like that potentially. So it's important that these creators that you enjoy and want to support continue to be financially viable. Personally, I'm not a big fan of relying on things like YouTube's partner program to get paid anyways. Some of my older viewers may remember several years ago, YouTube retooled how they were doing payouts and the pay rate and everything like that. And a lot of creators lost a lot of money over it. For the high earners that are making millions of dollars a week on YouTube, that's not a big deal. But for the small guys like me, that could have been a death sentence. I wasn't a creator back then, but same principle. So seriously, use these tools that are available to you, but also donate if you can. It helps keep people going. I'm a really small creator compared to a lot of the other sites and projects out there. But even at my level, if every unique visitor to my website gave 50 cents, I could quit my day job tomorrow. That's how many visitors I get. But not that many people donate. Okay, so I'm sorry that just kind of turned into a pitch to like, please give me money. That's not what I'm here for. I just wanted to explain it because I know the YouTube monetization thing, like I said, it's kind of controversial. Some people feel really strongly about it. Some of you probably don't care. Some of you are probably like, yeah, man, whatever. Turn on ads, get paid. I don't care. Some of you also probably don't care about ads. But like I said, it's, it's not just the ads. It's the tracking. And I think you should really opt out of that if you can. And again, if you do that, make sure to support your favorite creators so they stick around. Not just me, but all of the other creators you like as well. Go throw a few bucks to their Patreon every now and then. If you're tight on money, rotate. Donate to one person this month, support another person the next month and another person after that. Like, that's a pretty good way of doing things. Hopefully that clears things up for you guys. If you feel strongly about this monetization thing and you think I should turn it off for some reason, let me know in the comments. If, if you make a really good argument, I promise you I will listen to it. Like I said, my goal is to try and monetize. And I know I'm probably not gonna make a ton of money off this program, but it might bring in a few bucks here and there and every little bit helps. That's what I keep telling you guys in every video, like every dollar donated helps and same thing with this. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for helping me get to this point. Even if I do end up turning it off, like I said, not a lot of creators make it to this point and this is really cool. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you guys so much for helping me get here and here's to many more views, many more hours, many more videos, and hopefully good content that helps you guys protect your privacy and security. I will see you next time.